enthalpies for different types of reaction. Let us now understand enthalpy of atomization. It is the enthalpy change on breaking one mole of bonds completely to obtain atoms in the gas phase. Consider the following example of atomization of dihydrogen. H2 gas giving 2 H2 gas. Delta H not atomization equals to 435.0 kJ per mole. Here, H atoms are formed by breaking HH bonds in dihydrogen. The enthalpy change in this process, known as enthalpy of atomization, delta H not A. In case of diatomic molecules like dihydrogen, the enthalpy of atomization is also the bond dissociation enthalpy. The other examples of enthalpy of atomization can be Na solid giving Na gas. Delta H not A equals to 108.4 kJ per mole. In this case, the enthalpy of atomization is same as the enthalpy of sublimation. Now moving on to bond enthalpy. The bond dissociation enthalpy is the change in enthalpy when one mole of a covalent bonds of a gaseous covalent compound is broken to form products in the gas phase. Energy is required to break a bond and energy is released when a bond is formed. Consider the following process in which the bonds in one mole of dihydrogen gas H2 are broken. H2 gas giving 2 H2 gas. Delta H0 of hydrogen, hydrogen bond equals to 435.0 kJ per mole. The enthalpy change involved in this process is the bond dissociation enthalpy of hydrogen-hydrogen bond. This is true for all diatomic molecules. For polyatomic molecules, we use mean bond enthalpy. The net enthalpy change of a reaction is the amount of energy required to break all the bonds in the reactant molecules minus the amount of energy required to break all the bonds in the product molecules. This relationship is approximate and is valid when all substances, reactants and products in the reaction are in gaseous state. Table for some mean multiple bond enthalpies in kilojoule per mole is shown. We now study enthalpy of solution. Enthalpy of solution of a substance is the enthalpy change when one mole of it dissolves in a specified amount of solvent. The enthalpy of solution at infinite dilution is the enthalpy change observed on dissolving the substance in an infinite amount of solvent when the interactions between the ions or solute molecules are negligible. When an ionic compound dissolves in a solvent, the ions leave their ordered position on the crystal lattice. These are now more free in solution. But solvation of these ions, hydration in case solvent is water, also occurs at the same time. As shown in the picture, the enthalpy of solution of AB solid, delta H not solution, in water is Therefore, determined by the selective values of the lattice enthalpy, delta H not lattice, 
and enthalpy of hydration of ions delta h not hydration for most of the ionic compounds delta h not hydration is positive and the dissociation process is endothermic therefore the solubility of most salts in water increases with rise of temperature if the lattice enthalpy is very high the dissolution of the compound may not take place at all let us study lattice enthalpy the lattice enthalpy of an ionic compound is the enthalpy change which occurs when one mole of an ionic compound dissociates into its ions in gaseous states to determine lattice enthalpies we use a method where we construct an enthalpy diagram called a born haber cycle the figure shows an example of born haber cycle 